Hey guys, how is it going? My name is Robert Baker, and I am here today to bring you this. The new BIOS app from the people at Positive Grid. So if you're already familiar with the JamUp Pro XT app, this is kind of like the counterpart for it, except this time they've taken tone and personalization to an entire new level. Alright, so before we get to any actual playing, let's just do a quick tour of the app. So basically when it comes on, you get all of these different amp categories up top here. And you get everything from your clean sound, you can have a bluesy amp if you want, your high gain, and even an acoustic and bass section. So if you're a guitar nerd and total just tone chaser like myself, this is really exciting. And I know when I first saw all these different amp categories, I could not wait to just jump right in and start making tones. So let's just pick an amp. We'll go to the bluesy and select the tweed lux. So, just like in Jam Up, you can customize your panel here however you want. If you want to lower the master gain, raise the presence, um, adjust the treble, whatever you want. But what they've done is they've added one more step, and this is amazing. So, you can come over here now and really just dive into the tone of the amp. Because now you can customize everything from your preamp tubes, your tone stack, two different EQs, power amp, and even your transformer and your amp cabinets. So you can simply pick on whichever one you want. Right now we're on the amp cabinets and you can actually move your mic around and they have mic options for you. It just, it doesn't end. If I wanted to show you every aspect of this app, this video would be 10 hours long, if not longer. So one of the other coolest things, other than just the tones that I thought, because basically what they've done is they've given you the ability to have your, pretty much your own signature amp because you can customize everything. But they didn't just think of it from the tone aspect. They really wanted you to be able to have that own personal feel of your amp. So you can actually come in here and change the way that the amps look. So it really can feel like this is your amp. Like no one else has this amp. So let's just kind of go from other options. You can change your panel like this. Go back, hit your knob, and change it to, let's do this knob go back oh if I can click on the right spot and now you have this entirely customized amp that is literally your signature amp so let's get to the playing then all right so let's get to some of these tones then so the first one I have is a 65 blackface vibro you can find it in the glassy section and pretty much I like the way it sounded before I even tampered with it at all it had a really nice warm but kind of like bright clean sound to it and that's exactly what I like. So after I selected the amp I kind of went to the panel here and adjusted all of these knobs to the way that um, it kind of appealed to me even more and then I just went into the bias section and just went to town. I adjusted the transformer, the power amps, the amp cabinet, the kind of speaker that I was using, just everything and this is kind of the tone that I came up with. So to kind of take it one step further, once you have it down like this, you can actually export your amp into JamUp. It's literally just by pushing one button. There's a little JamUp button up top. And now is where you can add your effects to it if you want to. So I really wanted to add some chorus and stuff so you can see I already have it set up here. Um, and I just added some chorus, delay, reverb, and then noise gate. So now listen to the tone that I've got. And then if I would want to change something, I can just click on the bias button right here. And my fingers will work. 
and it just takes me right back to BIOS. So the way they've integrated the Jam Up and the BIOS app is literally flawless, and it's a really cool thing to be able to hop back and forth, and you can save your presets in both of them. So you don't have to like make all these tones and wonder how you're going to keep them. So that's the first one, the 65 Blackface Vibro. Right, so let's get on to the second tone. So now what I've done is I went into the bluesy section and I selected the Tweed Lux and it, I absolutely love this kind of bluesy sound. You can already tell it has a little bit of breakup. I've got the gain at around uh, 10, you know, bass kind of at noon, mids are around 11 o'clock. And I'm not going to go through all the settings, but um, it just gives me that kind of like slightly broke up bluesy sound that I'm looking for. Now, again, I kind of went into the preamp section and adjusted some of the stuff. And there's all kinds of little things you can do, like your tube stages, you can adjust that. And you can hear on this tweed, so here's what I've got. So if I came in here and I adjusted the tube stage, listen how I take it from 2 to 4, the difference in the gain that you get. It's pretty significant. So, like I said, though, I'm kind of going for that cleaner bluesy sound, so we're going to keep it at 2. Now, I'm going to export it again to Jam Up. So, let's kind of go over here. Again, my fingers just won't work today. But, let's see. And now, we're going to kind of kick that chorus out of there. We don't need that. Um, we'll keep some reverb. And then, let's add a boost. So, I've got all this stuff working now. Now, listen to the tone. A lot more reverb, but it sounds nice. So I love it. I know as soon as I start playing, I really start having fun and just kind of start you know, zoning out playing guitar, and to me that's the first sign that you've got something cool, and I've literally spent hours just messing around with it, not even trying to come up with tones, just playing with the stuff, learning, because I mean there's a lot of stuff on here that I didn't even know that amps did that I've learned just from the app, so it literally does so many different things, and um, again, you know, you could come in here if you wanted to add something crazy to it, you know, let's go to the, let's go to the, where the chorus would be, Let's add a phaser, you know, just for fun. So. Alright, so now on to this one, and I was super excited when I saw that they had this amp on here. It's a 67 Dumble Clean. So I'm sure a lot of you are more than familiar with the name of Dumble. Totally legendary amp, and I think they did a great job. So, pretty much what you can do is again I've selected the amp, adjusted a lot of the stuff, I put the gain on 10, you still have a fairly clean amp. But this time I did things a little bit different, I went back over to my amp cabinet, I kept my 57 and I moved it down a little bit, it originally was up here and I kind of like moved it down, it gave it a little more of a bassy sound. And then I also adjusted the transformer. So I went to this one, and I really like this one for some reason. It's the fat style transformer, and it just really warmed up a lot of stuff. And you can really tell a big difference when you're in distortion and you change this transformer. But there's also a lot of other things you can do here now. Now you can go over here and completely change your tubes. And this time I went with EL34s, but you could easily um, kind of like shift through them. EL84s, 6L6. And, you know, you can just kind of go back to whatever you want. So this one I'm not going to export to jam up, because I really just like the way that it sounded. It was a basic clean, but it was perfect for kind of like the funky stuff, so... Okay, so we're on to the final 
amp now. So pretty much what I chose was a 69 Super Lead from the Crunch section. And one thing to keep in mind is I've only given you a brief overview of what this app can do. There's so many different options of stuff that you can go into. Um, I just didn't want to make the video like two hours long or something. So really just if you can, get the app, try it out. Um, if you have an iPad, trust me, you will absolutely love it. You can take these tones everywhere with you. And if you just have an iPhone, get the Jam Up app. Like, it sounds great, too. So, you know, and then, they, like I said, they work together so well. So if you have both of them, you're going to, like, you know, might as well just cancel your plans for the next month because this is what you're going to be doing because this is what I've been doing. But anyways, we've got a 69 Super Lead here. Here's kind of my reference tone. what I really want to talk about is something that they've done that to me was really impressive. So basically, um, when you're playing a real amp, as you strum it harder or lighter, you can notice that the stuff starts to break up more or less. And a lot of times on guitar apps, they don't really justify that. Like I can strum it hard and I get the same response, but what they've done is they've really taken the time and just given you that attack response from your string. So watch as I strum this lightly once. I have a little bit of breakup, but not nothing too crazy. But let's talk how I really strum. You can really hear how the gain picks up, and that's just because there's such an attack response from when you're picking. Just like if I was playing soft. So I thought that was really cool. But anyways, let's kind of go in here. So basically, again, I've set the uh, dials how I wanted to, but let's go and let's just change a few things. You know, I really want the background to look a little bit different. I want it to look like my amp. So, and then let's go to the power amps. I've got EL34s. Let's just try EL84s. I can already tell it's changed the tone quite a bit. Um, and then let's go to transformer. And I've been using the fat style all all night, so let's kind of just go to this American style. Sounds good. So now that we've got kind of like a bass tone, let's go ahead and swap back over to Jam Up real quick, because I like to have a reverb and stuff like that on my amps. So we're going to kind of turn this into like a crunchy lead tone. So let's kick the phaser out of here. Let's go in here and adjust the reverb. Kind of bring that level down a little bit. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Um, and let's add some delay to it. So let's kind of bring our delay down. And let's see how this sounds. Again, I just started having fun with it. So let's kind of kick the boost out of the way. There you go. And something else that's kind of cool, once you get in Jam Up, you can adjust the line of things that's, that are happening, and it really can affect your tone quite a bit. Okay, that pretty much wraps up the demo of the Bias app from Positive Grid. If you guys have any questions, you can always check them out on their official website. That link will be below in the description. You can like them on Facebook. If you have questions for myself about how I made the video or anything like that, just leave a comment below and I will be sure to reply to you. You can also check out my YouTube for guitar lessons, other demos, and I've done quite a few demos of the Jam Up app itself. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.